Here's a brief introduction on how to read an audiogram. First, let's explain the graph. Let's say you go to an audiologist or hearing specialist and he or she hands you this graph. You, you ask, what does it mean? Well, the graph or hearing loss is measured in decibels and frequencies. Decibels is on the right hand side and that runs vertically. It's a unit of loudness or volume, how, you need, how high you need to turn up the volume to hear the sound. It goes from 0 decibels to 120 decibels. Frequencies, or pitch, runs across the top. Think of a piano keyboard. The lowest frequencies, or keys, are on the left. The highest frequencies, or keys, are on the right. It goes from 250 hertz to 8,000 hertz. You will also notice that there are two lines. One's blue, one's red. Well, the blue line with X's represents the hearing loss in your left ear. And the zeros, or red line, represents the hearing loss in your right ear. If you have an X or zero that's between zero and 20 decibels, you have normal hearing for that specific frequency. If you have an X or zero that is between 20 and 40 decibels, you have mild hearing loss for that specific frequency. If you have an X or zero that's between 40 and 70 decibels, you have moderate hearing loss for that specific frequency, and it goes down to profound hearing loss, which is 90 to 120 decibels. But how does this relate to conversation with other people and the sounds you may be missing? When you're talking to people or listening to a speech or a sermon, most vowels are low pitched. They're like A, E, I, O, and U. Those are in the lower frequencies. Most consonants are high pitched, like S, T, F, SH. These are higher frequencies, sometimes associated with women's voices. Let's tie all this in so you can read your audiogram and choose a hearing aid that's best fitted for you. All hearing aids come with a suggested fit graph. So let's take a look at the graphs at Century Hearing Aids. Now that you're at Century Hearing Aids, let's go to Shop for Hearing Aids. Click on Behind the Ear Hearing Aid. Find the Rosebud SP Behind the Ear Digital Hearing Aid. Click on that to open the product. As you can see the hearing aid and a number of images below. Double click on the graph. This is the fitting range for this instrument or hearing aid. As you can see it runs from 20 down to about 30 in the high levels, from 90 to 120 in the lower levels. This product is developed for individuals with mild to profound hearing loss. Let's take another example. Click on In the Canal Hearing Aids. Select the first one, which is the Rosebud, completely in the canal. Open it up. Go to the fitting range chart. And you can see this goes from 0 to about 40, 45. In the higher frequencies, it goes uh, from 20 to about 55. This instrument, or hearing aid, is designed for individuals with mild to moderate hearing loss. Well, that was a brief introduction on how to read an audiogram. We hope that helps. If you still have more questions, please call us at 888-295-2944 or email us at support at centuryhearingaids.com for a free consultation. Thank you.